We're here because we had the Franklin Covey group come in um, about three months ago. We've been working on patient satisfaction in the system for several years. Um, we've tried different approaches. Um, hasn't always moved our scores. I've been a nurse administrator for 30 years. It takes a lot to get me excited because I think I've seen and heard everything. I got excited and I thought this could really work for our organization. I heard Chris McChesney with uh, Franklin Covey talk at a Georgia nurse leader meeting and he talked about the four disciplines of execution and left so excited about the whole idea because the organization a couple of years ago had embarked upon trying to improve our patient satisfaction scores. For 30 something days, those patients and families were terribly satisfied. Our scores for satisfying our patients had been very, very low, among the bottom 2% of all hospitals nationwide. Now we were at the third percentile across the nation compared to other hospitals like us. That meant 97% of the hospitals were doing better than we were. And now we're at the 99th percentile, which means we're at the top. It just wasn't really a, a coordinated effort. Each department manager was kind of left to do their own thing. How do you train your staff? How do you monitor and make sure that people are doing what they need to do? And then looking at the scores, and we just weren't seeing that movement. And we felt like Covey takes a very organized and organizational approach to doing those same things. We follow the Covey program to the letter. We do everything that our Covey consultant tells us to do and then some. And I think that's made a tremendous difference for us. And then we have scoreboards that keep the goal right in front of you. So that you're constantly, every time you walk by the nurses station, for instance, you're seeing what your score is. And you're seeing how it moved from last week to this week and starting to think, okay, did what I do last week, what I did last week, did that make a difference in that score? And what can I do next week that will really have an impact on the score. And you're giving people constant real-time feedback. Covey helped us organize that. The WIG is the foundation of really what makes this work, in my opinion. The WIG sessions help keep everybody on track and keep the accountability in place so that we don't lose track of what um, our focus is and what the, our WIGs, WIGs are. Of course, our wildly important goal is the ones we've talked about today, the patient satisfaction goal, because again, there are lots of hospitals in Atlanta you know, DeKalb Medical is one of them, but we want to be the hospital. We want to be people's choice. Based on what's happened in our first two months, I, I hate to use a cliche that's been overused, but the sky's the limit. I absolutely believe that we are not only going to reach our goal of being at the 50th percentile for inpatient by June 30th, I think we're going to smash it. I think we're going to be, I think we're going to be the best hospital in, in Atlanta, without a doubt. But the fact that we're measuring nationally, I don't see any reason in the world we can't be up in the top 10%. I, I just don't see, I don't see it not happening.